Hey guys, this is emic 77 and I'm here to give you a little motion tutorial making 2D text into 3D text. We fire up motion here. First thing you want to do is hit our text key up here at the top. Come down here and click in your canvas somewhere and type your text. I'm sure you're used to seeing this kind of talk from my videos if you've watched a lot of them. I'm going to change it to bold. I'm going to open my inspector and I'm going to change the size to about 400. It's at 48 now. I'm going to put it at about 400. Now I'm going to select my text and move it down here slightly off the screen a little bit because I'm going to have it scrolling across the screen. So now I want to go up to behaviors, basic motion, throw. Now I'm going to take my dashboard control and move the arrow all the way over to the left in a straight line like that. If the dashboard didn't open before you automatically hit the HUD button up here. And now when I hit play you'll notice it scrolls across the screen. Let me make sure it's good and straight. Like so. Not too bad, huh? Let me open up my layers tab. Select my group. And I'm going to select fixed resolution. And I'm going to set it to 920 by 600. That's a good size for what we're doing. It might not look like much of a difference right now, but it does make a difference. Trust me. So now I'm going to rename my group text. I'm going to name it text. You always want to keep everything organized. And with my text group selected, I'm going to go to Add Filter, Distortion, Sphere. And as you see, that makes our text look like it is inside of a sphere. And as I play it, it will rotate around. Let me set my out points. So, about right there. Not too bad so far. I hope, I hope that you can see where I'm going with this. I wanna, now the next thing I want to do is set the center of my sphere, which will be 290. I'm going to bring it up to 290. And I'm going to bring this one up to 190. And that puts our text over here in the corner of our canvas. We can't forget about our radius. We want to set our radius to about 750. And that makes things a little bit bigger. Now, I want to select my text tab again, go into Filter, Stylize, Extrude. Boom, that gives us a 3D look to our text. But we're not finished. We need to go in here and set some of our parameters. And we're going to do that right now. So let me pause this so maybe you can get a good idea of what's going on when I adjust these. Under Distance, I'm going to make it 75 which is how far the extrude is. Clipping I'm going to leave alone. Back size I want to make 0.85. It makes it not as tall. Face brightness 0.55. Front brightness 0.65. And back brightness 0.20. Now let me go back and play this and you can see what we got so far. As you can see the lighting on it looks a little bit better. Now we need a background. So I'm going to deselect everything, add a new layer, and pull it down to the bottom so it'll be behind everything. Go over to my Libraries tab, and under Generators, there is a gradient. I'm going to take that gradient and drag and drop it to my background. As you can see, that gives us a gradient, but that, that, that gradient ain't really all that great. We're going to want to change the color of that gradient. So, to do, in order to do that, we're going to have to go over to our Inspectors tab. We'll select our Gradient. Go to our Inspector tab. Under Generators, you'll see the Gradient key. Here's a pop-up of all different kinds of preset gradients. I'm going to use Sundown. I'm going to go into my Gradients, and I'm going to adjust the colors just a little bit here. Maybe make it a little darker at the bottom than at the top. And up here, maybe make it just a little bit darker. Like that right there. 
as you can see things are starting to come around a little bit but the face needs the, now the properties of the text needs adjusted a little bit more I'm going to go back in to my <clears throat> extrude click on the inspector tab under the filters tab I'm going to adjust my properties a little more I'm going to make the back brightness 0.85 I'm going to make the front brightness 0.45 and the face brightness 0.75. There, that looks uh, starting to look a little bit better. So now we're going to change our gradient. We don't want the black and white gradient. We're going to change it to sundown. As you can see, things are starting to look a little bit better. Let me adjust my radius a little bit to about, I don't know, 645 for the um, extrude. Remember, we're working on the extrude part of it right now. Now I want to select, I'm going to go back and select my text tab, which is right here. Go to the text tab in the inspector. Go to style. And I'm going to, under face color, I'm going to select fill with gradient. And I'm going to change it to sundown. As you can see, that looks a little bit better than what it did. Now I want to change the outline. Give it an outline. I want to make it a gradient. And I want to make it sundown. Things are starting to shape up, aren't they, guys? If you notice. Now, I'm going to go back to my Sphere tab. Under the Filters, I'm going to adjust my angle to about 330. That, that looks a little bit better. Now, we need to finesse it a little bit. I want to select my text. Go into the text tab in the inspector, go down to the outline, and I'm going to blur it a little bit. Maybe I'm going to blur this, the width a little bit, blur it maybe one, like that right there. Um, I might go up here and blur the face to about four, like that. These are real subtle changes. And as you can see, I might even want to add a drop shadow and I'm going to blur it a little bit even. So now let me fit this to our window. And there we go guys. Check it out. There's our 2D text into 3D text. Pretty fucking sweet if you ask me. That's pretty good for 10 minutes worth of work. So uh, I hope you learned something from this guys and uh, I'll see you next time.